Tackling some of the biggest challenges facing Denver, city leaders and business execs held a summit today focused on imagining a mile high city of the future. Liz Gillardi sat in on the discussions today and joins us live now from downtown. Liz. And we are talking about tackling some tough challenges like transportation and affordable housing. These are topics that keep coming up again and again, but today we also heard about some steps in the right direction. You know, success, like in Denver, brings issues like congestion. So how do we think about mobility? With that success comes challenges for the Mile High City. How do we grow? Are we being welcoming? Are we being inclusive? Are we creating affordable housing options? Questions asked here at the Rocky Mountain City Summit, put on by the Downtown Denver Partnership. It centers around collaboration, looking at what's happening in other cities around the world and innovative ways to reimagine Denver. Right now, one of the biggest challenges is equity, right? Um, folks don't feel included uh, in our city's success. City officials are taking a tough look at how we get around Denver. One example, Colfax, where city council is asking for $500,000 in next year's budget to improve the look and safety. We're working to make that a dynamic, livable, and exciting. This year, the mayor and council created Denver's first affordable housing fund, a move applauded in the room today. The middle class gets kind of priced out of your, out of your cities, out of your community. I, I think we're far enough out on this that we can, we can begin to mitigate that and plan around it. A city of the future also means relying on technology and data to make plans and finding new ways to engage with residents. And so it gives us a lot of um, encouragement that we're headed in the right direction. And a big part of this is finding new ways to attract people to the downtown area. We saw some examples of this over the summer with the Meet in the Streets festivals along the 16th Street Mall and also this prototyping festival where they had artists come in just trying to attract people to that area. But the challenge is how do they recreate that every day? Reporting live, Liz Gilardi, Denver 7. Thank you, Liz.